Top 5 After Effects expressions every beginner should know. These expressions won't just make your work easier and faster. They will save you from damaging the hundreds of your brain cells as well. Without further ado, let's jump to Top 5 After Effects expressions. Yes, it's as simple as it sounds. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. We usually use them in a combination with basic transformations and property link. Let's say that we have two balls. One is going from left to right. We're gonna just connect X position of ball number two to X position of ball number one. What happens? Well, they are going in the same direction at the same speed. But let's go into this expression over here and write times 0.5. Let's see what happens now. Ball number two is going twice as slow. We can do the same thing with dividers. This is the same thing, okay? Let's say we write plus 200 and basically ball number two will start from 200 until 2120. Now, let's imagine that we have a ball that's going from right to left, but we want it to spin. Let's connect rotation to its position. It's going way too fast, so we're just gonna write times 0.25, let's say. This looks pretty right. And we can move it left and right, and it's gonna rotate accordingly. Let's say we have two shape layers. Number two is connected to number one, and the number one have animation on a rotation but we want shape number two to stay vertical so we can see the number well we're just gonna connect its rotation to a rotation of ball number one and write times point minus one and what will happen we're gonna have something like this the best way to show how this works is with text layer. This expression usually gives the number of seconds that have passed as a value. It's usually used with rotation, for example, if we want our rotation to go on and on and on. So we're gonna write time times 300. Now every second our ball will spin for 300 degrees. Besides rotation, we could use it with all kinds of effects like roughened edges, fractal noise, or noise for creating something like this. What is index? Every layer in our timeline has its own index number, from 1 to infinite. So instead of referencing other layers inside of expressions, we can reference their index number. So index plus 1 in this case will be layer with index number 2. Let's say we want to create something like this. First we are going to animate one line. Then we are going to paste it and connect rotation of line number two to a rotation of line number one with a little tweaking. We are not going to reference it to line number one, but to index plus one. And we are going to add plus 30 in the end of this value. Now we are just going to paste line number two 10 more times. Basically, every next line will be offset from the previous one by 30 degrees. Or if you want to animate a lot of bars going up and down. The process is pretty much the same as in previous example. We're gonna paste our bar once and connect its X position to an X position of a bar number one. We are going to reference it to index plus one and we're going to add 150 to the value. Press Ctrl D or Command D a couple of times. So we get something like this. Let's go one step further. We're gonna cut it to one second, delete the rest of the layers, select all of our layers, go to keyframe assistant, sequence layers, and set an overlap to 20 frames. And we're just going to make them to a full duration. And we've got something like this in just a few seconds. Let's imagine we wanna create repetitive movement like ball jumping up and down, rotating circle or something else. How are we going to do this? By copying and pasting our keyframes. God forbid. All we need is a couple of keyframes and then just use loop out or loop in expressions. Loop out loops after the keyframes. So if you move it over here, it's not gonna loop from here. And the loop in loops before the keyframes. Way easier, right? And that's not even everything. There are several types of loop expressions. Ping pong, cycle, offset, and continuous. Cycle loops our animation from first keyframe to last keyframe. Ping pong goes from first to last and then again to first. Offset offsets animation for the changed value. And continuous animation continues to happen at the same speed as the last keyframe. Let me show you one more ace up my sleeve. We can use the loop expression to loop compositions as well by adding it to time remapping. 
we're just gonna move one frame to the left, add one more keyframe, delete the last keyframe and just write loop out. What will happen? Our composition will go in a loop forever and ever and ever. Let's shake things up a bit and when it comes to shaking, wiggle is perfect for that. Just write wiggle, frequency, amplitude. Frequency is basically how fast will wiggle go and amplitude in what range. For example, let's add wiggle on a position of this ball and write 2.15. What will happen? Ball will move two times in a second in a range of 15 pixels. Now, wiggle is pretty cool, but it has one huge flaw. It doesn't loop. In that case, we can use this expression. I'm just gonna paste it over here and add it to the description below. What does this mean? Well, we can set frequency, amplitude, and we can set time to loop in seconds. So, three means it will go in a loop of three seconds. And if we set 5, it will loop for 5 seconds, meaning that it's gonna loop through the whole composition. But if we don't want to calculate how many seconds does this last, instead of 5, we can write out point. So it will just loop until the out point of this layer, which is in the end of our composition. This is pretty easy, but let's take it to the next level. We can connect frequency and amplitude to slider controls. This will allow us to have more control over a wiggle and create more dynamic animations while giving us a power to actually animate values of these sliders. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you'll probably like our tutorial for creating foolproof After Effects templates. I'll link it over here. And of course, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more video automation and After Effects tips.